So hey guys, this is Paper Stoke again and today I'm going to show you on how to set up the free version of my Squid Game plugin. So first, what are we going to do? So I'm going to show you introduce my uh, command. So to get the commands you can just do squid settings and then here are the list of commands so um, if you notice um, there are some commands that are only available on the premium version like for example the create lobby and the delete lobby and some of the commands are also missing in here because they are only available on the premium or in the full version of the squid game plugin so for this um for this version so you can just use squid game um squid game i uh, squid game. squid setting i mean squid setting then the red light and then this two you can only are uh, you only have access to these two commands so for example squid uh squid setting red light setting this will open the um what they call this the gui settings of the red light green light setting so uh yeah red light green light game so for this um uh, version this for this um uh, free version you only have one lobby it does not support the um multi arena so you will only have a built-in lobby which is called lobby underscore one so you won't be able to change this so how do we set up the game so as usual if you watch my premium version or or maybe i will just explain it again so first the game world so basically game world is the location or the game yeah the game world where you are currently in or where the game will be held so um again red light settings just click this to set the game world then preparation time so for the preparation time um it's up to you if you want to add more preparation time or if you want to increase it or decrease it but for us we will just do 15 seconds then the actual game time so we will just stick to five minutes um then we will proceed to the next settings the red light delay basically is the delay in which the server will actually change from green light to red light so we will just set this to 10 ticks so this is measured in ticks uh, 20 ticks is equals to one second so this is set to half a second because it's 10 ticks then red light minimum and red light maximum so red light minimum or and red light maximums are basically the delay in which um, the server will start to change to uh, red light so the difference between these two is that this delay the red light delay is the actual delay players won't be able to see this but this um, red light and uh, minimum and maximum they will see this um, by like three two one then red light basically that's the uh, no that's the that's it now allow look basically there are i think three yeah allow look allow interrupt allow sneak then these three are um if you want the players to actually look um interact and sneak during red light so if they want if you want them to do this um, interact and press shift um, when the status is red light <laughs> now allow auto end so basically allow auto end means that when there are no more players in the game field uh, the game will actually end so that's it um, yeah now for the set game field um, this is actually on the red light green light so this is the red light green light map that we made so we can open the squid settings um, red light settings then we can set now the game lobby 
okay so as you can see you can set um or you can select uh, either single or multiple and then you need to either um, type add or remove if you want to add the game field or remove the game field so for example in our case we need to select multiple and then add now you have selected the multiple add so we need to break the first block so the first chunk has been selected please select the second chunk so we will need to move to the opposite corner so this is the opposite corner so we will select it um, by breaking this block and now we have selected 104 game fields so um, you might be wondering why we have selected these chunks and not this chunk because this um these chunks here are the safe field so um when the player crosses this um when the player crosses this chunk and went to this one uh they will no longer be targeted by the red light green light plugin so they will be um able to move um and they won't be able to uh, get eliminated during the red light green light or during their red light status so if they went back in here and the red light is on then they will die and get eliminated so that's why we need to select the game field only up to here now set game lobby so the game lobby will be the location on which the plugin will get its players so for example um, this is your lobby um, we can just set this as a lobby so what we will need to do is set the game lobby so click this then we need to again select multiple and add so multiple add then um, break the first corner the chunks then move to the opposite corner to um, select it So now we have set 64 um, lobby field. So next, start barrier and the uh, end barrier. When the game start, uh, the start barrier will will get removed, and then when the game ends, the end barrier will get removed. So we can just set screen settings, red light settings. Click the start barrier, and then select multiple add click here and then move to the opposite corner and then click here and now we have set 64 start barrier so basically why we did or why we added a barrier here so basically when the game start or when the game is in um, preparation mode uh, we can prevent players from actually crossing the game unless it's uh, the actual game has begun so that's the main purpose of this one so these barriers will only get removed when the game starts and then the players will be able to cross so we won't be needing any end barrier here so we will just leave it um, empty and then set game spawn location so basically when the game starts all players in the lobby will be teleported to this location so we can just set a random spawn location maybe around here or here so squid settings select this one and then break the blocks and now we have set the game spawn location so now we have uh, finished um, setting up the game so there is one button here that says flash all data so be careful of uh, in using this one so basically this will clear all the settings for your lobby so now that we are done uh, setting up the game we can now try we can now try to test it so first i will show you what will happen if we tried running up the game right now so squid settings red light start um, as you can see the um, there's an error which is no player has been registered because currently I'm the only one um, right now in this game 
uh, and I'm in the operator mode. So in order to be registered as a player, you need to be uh, a normal player. So we can just deop ourselves, and now we are no longer uh, operator. So we can open the console, and then we can now type the um, squid setting red light and then start so now we have teleported to this one and then one player has been registered which is me and then we can just wait the game will start in uh, 5 4 3 2 so as you can see i can't move i can't go in and now i can so green light then 3 2 1 red light so that's the um, minimum and maximum delay then we will wait for the green light again so green light and then three two one red light so we can try to shift click and move so we are not getting eliminated because we have set it to this one so green light again and now we will try to move so if you move we will die that's the uh, red light green light plugin which is the free version so that's it guys thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed it um if you are if you are interested you can purchase me my full version which is available in uh, www.papersoup.com so if you open that um the full version will be there so if you are interested maybe you can check the or you can check my tutorial first in YouTube and um, after that if you are interested then you can purchase it and you can play it uh, you can play the full game so that's it thank you and bye bye